So it's Rita Catalino here again, Body Rockers. Um, something that comes up a lot is age, right? We're too old, we're too young, we're too, you know, there's always these excuses because that's what it comes down to. Age is an excuse in terms of fitness. Um, just to give you all a little bit of uh, background on myself, my fitness journey started at 27 years old. No, that doesn't mean it was super old, but growing up, fat my whole life and, and you know not knowing where to go being a couch potato eating copious amounts of food um, being 27 postpartum and in a body that I didn't want to be in and making the decision then to change was huge it was pivotal in my life and if somebody said to me well you need to be 18 and not a mom to do this then I would have given up before I even started um, my own mother who is now 50, mm -hmm, mom, uh, she just started on her journey a couple of years ago and she's lost 30 plus pounds. And now she's in the basement, you know, with her kettlebells instead of, you know, making the homemade pasta on Sundays like she used to. So don't use it as an excuse. You're never too young, you're never too old. You know, the most important thing with age is not comparing yourself to that 18 year old. You know, I'm gonna go do a, a fitness show pretty soon and yes I'll be in their older category soon I'm getting close to 35 but if I go out there thinking I've lost because I've got 18 year olds beside me then I've lost right so there's no age it's you and the best version of yourself no matter where you are in life so no more excuses with age and on that note we're gonna do a workout right now and it is a timed workout. I know you love those timed workouts because you know a lot of you use that clock right there. You can see the, the, the minute the second sticking. In my case, I'm not going to see this. I'm just gonna anticipate that beep and pray to the beeping gods that it happens sooner than later. So today, uh, I've made up kind of a quirky workout because at the end of the day, movement is primal. Movement is the most important thing. I don't care if you've got the latest BOSU ball and the latest gimmick. At the end of the day, if your body is not moving right, then there's, there's no point in even adding resistance to your body. It's about moving. So today we're going to do an animal or a primal workout. Each one of our moves has the name of an animal in them. Okay? Cheesy, yes. If you don't like it, too bad. Just do the workout and sweat alongside of me. So we're going to start with the downward dog push up. Okay, so we're going to start with the dog. And uh, we're doing time here. We're doing 30 seconds on. So set your timer 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Always starts with that 10 second rest. We're going to get down to downward dog position. So that's with your bum elevated, your heels down. When it beeps, we're going to go into this position here, just like that, and then into a push up. And then I want you to go back into your downward dog, roll into place, and push up. Bum in the air, down, push up. You'll feel your arms, you'll feel your hamstrings, you'll feel your core, you'll feel your chest. Dog, push up. Good. Next animal, what have we got on? We've got switch spider legs. So this one's really great, love this one. You're going to get down into a plank position and you're going to switch your legs up either side of your hands. Great for cardio, great for legs. If you can't quite get there, then just go as far as your foot can go. Otherwise, try to get that foot beside your hand. Woo! soon enough. Now we're going to go into can, kanguru. That was Spanish. Into kangaroo jumps. Try to get the length of your mat. Turn around. Use that upper body. Land into a squat. Thank God. We want to go to alligator arms. 
It's also known as a iron cross. Chomp, chomp, my arms are dead. Here we go. Down and open. Chomp. For your shoulders. Is closing my eyes making it easier? I don't know. Making me focus on how old I am. Burn shoulders. Chomp. Alligator mouth. Okay. And the last one is the hardest. Mule jump. So this is hard on the upper body. I don't know if I can do this for 20, 30 seconds, but let's try. Here we go. Excuse.